In order to get as many questions answered as possible, I'm going to set this principle that we don't all have to answer every question. So after, after we have like two answers, we'll go to the next one, okay? And uh, I don't have to answer any of them. <laughs> Here's the first one. Whoops, I may get in on this one. <laughs> And he used to start the program by playing the marimba. He played the theme at the beginning and the end and preached in the middle, so. <laughs> my, my mother played the marimba for my dad. Did she? Yeah. <laughs> Hold two sticks in each hand? Yeah, yeah, that's right. And her arms would shake right here? <laughs> Sorry, man. Now you're supposed to cover that up if it's doing that. Are tongues for today? If so, with what purpose or meaning? Are what? Tongues. <laughs> of course our tongues are for today. How could we speak? <laughs> <laughs> Who thinks these questions up, RC? I thought we had a bright group. <laughs> are your tongues for today? <laughs> no, they're for next Thursday. <laughs> oh. You're such a bad boy. Oh, I read it. <laughs> and I, I just take all, first I take notes from the, you know, look at the Greek text and make sure I'm dealing with the right stuff. And then I just start writing this stuff. I have a large collection of these notes, by the way. Years ago, I asked John to save that yellow. He was throwing that stuff away. Yeah, I know. I, said, I know it's your retirement program, isn't it? Well, actually, <laughs> actually, it, it, it's, more, it's more of a plan for my great-grandchildren. I figure they'll be able to sell them on eBay. Well, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Look, they're still selling Spurgeon's written notes. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, that's exactly what I'm yeah. thinking. But anyways. <laughs> I, will, I will do that it tomorrow, when I, when I tackle 2 Corinthians 5, all right, I'll, I'll, answer, I'll, endeavor to answer, I'll endeavor to answer it then. How's that? What do you think? Okay. That's fine. We don't want to steal your thunder tonight. No, and, and no, to no I've I, already been accused of doing that in yeah. the past. <laughs> no. Well, that, there's another, I could answer it another way. I don't know the answer to that question, but I might know it by tomorrow. <laughs> Now, I mentioned last night, I like ice cream, and I eat ice cream. Do I eat ice cream because I'm forced to, or do I eat ice cream because I want to? Or do I eat ice cream because I'm forced to, because I want to? <laughs> if I do eat ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about ice cream for a while, shall we? I would like an ice cream. <laughs> This is a simple man. <laughs> simple pleasures. <laughs> Since the Roman Church rejects the gospel, are Roman Catholic baptisms valid? Why or why not? <laughs> Sound refoc sound reform folk differ on that question and still can love one another, maybe. I must hold the hypothetical possibility that someone in contradiction to the sacramental teachings of the Roman Catholic Church actually was a closet Baptist, in which case, yes, there would be eff efficacious baptism. I usually don't like Al's answers on baptism, but I'm pretty happy with that one. Mike, do you want to deal with that? Or do you want to wait till tomorrow? <laughs> I think you can only do that once or twice and then people start catching on. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> we did persuade you to, uh, to get an iPhone. Yes. So you use a cell phone that actually has email capabilities. 
Yes, right? and, and I can actually read things on it. Yeah, in fact... <laughs> I can't send things, but I can read yeah. them. <laughs> in fact, just to illustrate, you guys need to hear this, just to illustrate John's technological limitations, he'll say to me, yeah, just fax that to my cell phone. And I'm, and I go, you mean, you mean like email you an attachment? He, he goes, huh? No, just, you can fax it to my cell phone. And I finally figured out what he meant was email him an attachment. But, That's whatever. Like, but, but when I get one of those attachments, there's nothing there to read. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Is that what I have to push that little box? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Where did Calvin stand on arguments for God's existence? Did he use them or did he view belief in God as properly basic? <clears throat> Go ahead, Sinclair. Well, there are two views on this, <laughs> and uh, they're probably near the western and eastern extremities of this panel. Here, of this panel. <laughs> um, but um, happily, we both agree with Calvin. <laughs> now, did you make up all of these questions, I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't even do this one. Vesta brought this one in. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> well, what do you expect me to say? I'm your guest. <laughs> um, it... it um, I... This is a man of real conviction, as you can see. I'm just trying to let you down gently. <laughs> he actually distinguishes, he makes a similar distinction to the one that you're making now. Um, and and I, I, don't, I don't have it well enough in my mind to, to articulate it. But for my... Will you tomorrow? I, there's... It, <laughs> There's a, good, there's a good chance that tomorrow I could cover this. Um. Would the reformers think that the modern evangelical church gives too little thought to the sacraments? Uh, Dr. Nichols says, say yes. Um. <laughs> So, so I think he should explain why. When my father was, uh, g was working with Evangelism Explosion, and I was five or six years old, he asked me the famous EE question. He said, Craig, because that's what I was called then, Craig, if you were to die today and stand before the judgment seat of God and God were to ask you, why should I let you into my kingdom, what would you say? And I gave my dad this look that I've done, thankfully, not too many other times since then, like he was the stupidest man on the planet. I was worried about his theological soundness. I thought, what kind of question is that? And I looked at him and I said, because I'm dead. Could you please expound on what the federal vision is? It's tearing up our church. No. Mike. <laughs> I'm not even going to do that tomorrow. <laughs> That's up to you, Mike. Uh, what, are you going to answer any of these? Absolutely. Only if you guys can't. <laughs> <laughs> At the point of regeneration, I contribute nothing to that. Yeah, that's what can a dead man do? Right. Nothing. And that's not a little something. <laughs> <laughs> that's what my son used to do every day at junior high. I, 
I remember in class one day, the professor said, what can a dead man do, talking about regeneration, and a, and a voice from the back of the room just said, stink. So. <laughs> do Christ's death and resurrection accomplish different things? Is there a distinction? Dr. Horton says yes. <laughs> Dr. Begg? I don't even have my microphone. Oh. <laughs> I, de I defer to Dr. Sproul. <laughs> I'm going to talk about this tomorrow. <laughs> you learn quickly. People say, you know, you're still wearing a suit and a tie. Why? Look, the more I cover up, the better. <laughs> I mean, there was a day when I could preach in a t-shirt and, you know, but that is gone. <laughs> Can I ask a question? I know you can. Well, okay. When does this <laughs> or do you mean may when I? does this finish? Do you mean may I or may what? I? May I? May I? May I? <laughs> when when does or this is that thing, a Scottish thing? When does this thing stop? What stop? <laughs> this 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 thing we're doing now. Because you're yeah. thinking this would be a good time? <laughs> no, no. I have in been, four more minutes. <laughs> okay, good. I keep last. I can, they, they keep giving me bottles of water, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I I it, if it goes five. I will be gone, okay? <laughs> All right. I hear you. All right. Okay. So, it's a Scottish thing. No. <laughs> Any, anyone who's had prostate cancer can identify with this. All right, Michael. Oh, man. Um, okay, I'm going now. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Go ahead. <laughs>